This is the Texas Trust for Public Broadcasting. You've been listening to an audio transcript of Gunsmoke. And now, a new program, Paint With Me, hosted by former President George W. Bush. How you doing, folks? I'm President George W. Bush. I'm, uh, we got the easel right here. This is a... This is a canvas that you paint on. Got a little brush, you just dip it in here. So we're just going to dab here, and you just probably want to paint. Uh, you start out with a nice blue sky. I like a blue sky. You need a little bit of green in there, paint some brush. There's some brush, and then uh, maybe there's some folks around, just some people. I'm, I'm painting. I remain confident. I, I remain uh, uh, satisfied. With what it looks like right now, there's just a blob. I think maybe there should be some light. The sky is clear, and at this point, you want to start to paint in. I don't know, beautiful, uh, beautiful uh, cityscape. You want to uh, start to paint in stuff that's out there. A city that might be scared. Maybe it's a little bit too liberal. All kinds of colors go into it. And it's morning time. You got light, light coming up, and you start to see. What does that look like? There's a couple of buildings, some big towers, and look at that. You just, you just, you just paint it. What, if you paint, then it, you, that's what painting is. We're starting to see some towers. There's a couple of ones that are bigger than the other ones. They're, not, they're nice and gray, but sometimes the light hits them, and there's when light hits something, it becomes light. That's what our science understands. So now we got these towers coming up, and there's a whole bunch of people. They're just showing up to work. You can draw them. They can look like a happy little people. But if, from a certain distance and a certain level of power, any kind of individual person, they, you don't need to care what they actually look like or what their lives are all about. They're just dots. They're just little sticks, whatever they're doing. It doesn't matter if they keep doing it or if they're, oops, something happens. Maybe they're not going to do it much longer, as long as it's for a bigger cause. And as long as nobody knows how it happened. So now we've got uh, these big towers, morning time, all these people showing up. And then, uh-oh, a couple of planes. Rip, zip. Bam, 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 bam. Now you're going to put blood, orange, big pile of smoke. You definitely want to have uh, the defense fighter pilot planes that are coming to save the day. You got Air Force. And the Air Force has airplanes. But you're going to tell them to stand down so those planes actually don't do anything. They come in, but then you just kind of swipe them out and they turn around. So you put little arrows, they go back out. They let it keep happening. And then the towers, oop, uh-oh, towers come down. And it's going to be tremendous smoke. Some of it's going to be radioactive. And you're not going to want people to ask too many questions about that. So you want to, then you're going to dip in a different kind of paint here, and then it's going to start covering up what happened. And we're going to make sure that we go back and redo the, the towers falling down, but this time they fall. Look, it could have happened to anybody. Uh-oh, maybe the towers fell down the stairs. You draw some stairs, and the towers fell down. What you're drawing is excuses. Nobody's going to ask no question. You're president. You're president of paint. Um, and then what you draw in after that, there's a bunch of people crying and screaming and, uh-oh, some of them died. Now we're going to draw in a new regime of power. And that involves, here it is, draw a little eagle up in the sky and then a circle around it and the eagle's holding on to some pencils in its legs or he's hold, grabbing some claws, pencils and claws. And then he drove so there it is, Homeland Security. He's a he's an eagle. There's always an eagle in a circle. And now all the people down there, whatever survived, whatever of them, they start doing whatever the eagle tells them. So where there was once tower, now there is power. Now it's just fun. You start having horns come out of the smoke figures. And then you uh, uh, maybe off in the way background, there's the sun. And the sun sees through it all. You just draw the sun. He's orange. He's got eyes that never stop looking at you. 
and uh, oh, his eyes are scary. Just make the dots in the eyes, and they stare. They stare. They see exactly what happened, but it's the sun. What's it going to do? <laughs> so there's a sun, and it's crying, and it's looking at this up, down, upside down, and it just looks like a whole, it's a sunshiny nightmare. And that's just, I mean, that's just, to me, that's art. And you leave it a little bit raw. You don't explain everything. It's just up there. And then, I don't know, just for fun on the way out, here, get a little bit of red paint. Just throw it at the canvas. That ought to teach some motherfuckers. And you can make more. You can, if you, if you wake up screaming, what did I do? What did I do? Make a painting. 3 a.m., make a painting. If it's noon and you hadn't slept in 40 hours, make a painting. If you sleep, if you sleep great, wake up and paint it again. You can always just paint it, put it in there. And now it's fine. It looks like a nightmare, but it looks like the truth. And you can sell something like this for $500,000. Somebody down at the golf course, they got money like that. So if you can make a painting like this and <laughs> go sell it. Anyway, join us next time. We will be, um, maybe we'll be drawing Fallujah. Bye.